Consistent, quality, hard contact will do the most damage. Whether it's here, whether it's here, whether it's there. Consistent, quality, hard contact. Got to have it. Got to have it, and this measures it. So you may, you know, how do we look at doing this stuff? You don't have, you may not have the hit track sensor. You may not have the ability to have one, so on and so forth. But you do, every one of you, if you're not, if you're not using technology to get your players better, at least giving them the information, you're putting them behind the curve. You really are. But here's the information that we can look at and really translate and go, okay, I've got my cage at home, back at my school, back at wherever we're, we're working at. And basically going out to from 15 feet out or 14 feet out from the plate, put a line up in the cage, that's, 30, uh, that's approximately 30 degrees. You can go further out to 20 degrees, it's about 30 feet out, and then you can go out, there's a, the calculation, the formula that Buddy provided for us here, and I know these slides will be available to you guys, where you can plug in the information and focus on the stuff that you want to focus on. Maximize your player's ability to do damage in whatever area it is that you want, you want that done. I mean, the, the team that did the most damage this year in college baseball was who? Coastal Carolina? Phenomenal job at doing damage. Where did they do damage? They did damage up here. They took the Chris Bryant mentality of if I'm going to hit a ball in the air, which I am going to try to hit a ball in the air, it's going to be not just a fly ball, but a darn hard fly ball. It's not the mentality for everybody, guys. It's not. But it's learning how to take the information that we have here and apply it to the players that you have. And I guarantee you, you will see positive results. Try it. The information is being provided to us. These kids want this information. They see it on TV all the time. It's cool to look at exit velos and launch angles and distance traveled and so on and so forth. Here's how you can do it without having all the stuff. Just get a sensor on the end of the bat.